one of my community bands that I manage um, was really in need of a conductor's podium for our concerts, and uh, we didn't have the budget to buy the several hundred dollar commercial ones from companies such as Wenger and so on. Uh, so I decided to try my hand at making uh, still a fairly strong but inexpensive and easy to build portable conductor's podium, and this slideshow shows the process. I decided to make the base out of four plastic milk crates. I picked these up uh, at the local Home Depot. Uh, they had them in stock in black, which was a good color. meant I didn't have to paint the base. It would be fairly inconspicuous, I hoped. The crates are lightweight, but they're pretty strong, and uh, four of them together make a large enough area to support the planned size of the podium deck and yet they could be uh, dismantled easily and transported um, in my van or other vehicles and stored more readily than some other design options I considered. Now, uh, to hold them together, the simplest thing that occurred to me was just to buy four bungee cords and strap them by hooking on to one corner, looping around to the next uh, milk crate, and then tying that together. So basically each side, which is comprised of two sides of milk crates, is held together and then with four bungee cords all, going all the way around the four crate assembly, they're all held pressing inwards towards each other by the bungee cords, but yet they're easily rigged up and easily disassembled. I intended the milk crate assembly to rest on the ground with the crates upside down resting on their edges and the milk crate bottoms facing up and having the uh, podium platform or deck resting on those. And the reason I did that was it gave me a good place to attach the deck to so it wouldn't slide around on the milk crates. Um, I used a deck of three-quarter inch plywood, uh, exterior grade, and um, the platform or deck is three foot on each side and the milk crates are slightly more than a foot square so when you put them together like this you have something on the order of five inches of margin uh, around the milk crates before you get to the edge of the uh, deck and uh, I rested the crates down there got them centered and then marked four positions where some short pegs would come through from the bottom of the deck and poke into the grid structure on the bottom of the milk crates to keep it aligned, which also helps keep the crates together and keeps everything from shifting. I had some scrap 7 8 inch diameter uh, wooden dowel rod and uh, I decided to make the alignment pegs out of that, so I used a Forstner bit to drill four holes at the positions where the pegs are going to go and in turn fit through the uh, grid lattice on the bottoms of the milk crates. And uh, you can see here that I have the four holes drilled in their proper positions. To make the deck easier to transport by one person, because three-quarter inch plywood is fairly heavy in this size, I put in two oblong shaped carrying slots uh, positioned so if a person kind of puts the board under their armpit and reaches down and grabs whichever handle is the right length for their arm then they can stand up and the bottom of the uh, deck will be perhaps four or five inches above the ground and can easily be carried that way and so um, I drilled with a Forstner bit one inch diameter holes and then drew lines between their uh, tangent points and uh, used a scroll saw to uh, cut them out to the oblong shapes. On the 7 8 inch diameter dowel rod I marked for the four pegs and then used my saw to cut them into the four pieces and used my belt sander um, to round one end off so it would fit in between the lattice work on the crates 
more readily uh, help align itself uh, upon insertion. I used epoxy to fix the four pegs into the holes that were drilled in the earlier step. And here's where I made what I hope was the only screw up on the design and building of this uh, podium. Um, when I'd marked the board for the four pegs, I did it with the wrong side of the board facing against the crates. So now when I went to assemble it, the pegs aligned with positions on the uh, milk crate lattice work that resulted in a crate to deck alignment that was slightly skewed as you can see in this photo. It's not as bad as it seems. It's only off by about an inch in reality. Uh, so it's like the four milk crates are slightly rotated from the platform. This does not present any problem for stability or strength. It's just a cosmetic thing. And it's a blunder I made because I'd spent the previous several hours before working on this re-rigging all the sump pumps in my house, which I have a separate YouTube video on, by the way. Um, so I wasn't going to go back and redo this. It just was too unimportant. But um, you can see how it's coming together here. To protect the edge of the three-quarter inch plywood deck, I decided to put some uh, aluminum angle all the way around, and luckily the Home Depot had some angle that was uh, three-quarters of an inch on the inside of the L, so when it was laid over the edge it was exactly the right dimension. And um, I wanted to do this for one reason, uh, would be just for cosmetic reasons, it looks nicer. Secondly, I wouldn't have to prepare or treat or condition the raw edges of the plywood to prevent splintering. And third, um, you know, if people are carrying this around, they're not going to get splinters from the raw edges of the plywood. And I guess fourth, uh, when the conductor is stepping on and off the platform, if his shoe drags over the edge uh, while stepping on and off, it's not going to booger up the plywood at all. I decided to wrap the fairly long lengths of uh, aluminum angle around the periphery of the deck uh, as much as possible instead of making individual pieces for each side. And to that end I bevel cut uh, the aluminum uh, so that it would wrap around. And um, I first tried using my bandsaw on it but the pieces were too long and I couldn't maneuver it properly, so I kind of boogered up the first bevel I made. Uh, it was acceptable, but still kind of rough looking. And then I did subsequent ones using the uh, cutoff wheel on my Dremel tool, which was not only faster and easier, but resulted in, in a better job. And you can see from this photo that one piece did two complete sides and about half of another side, and then the remaining piece uh, completed the third side and did the uh, the whole fourth side. I scribed down the center line of the aluminum and then marked about every eight inches uh, along it to show where the uh, screws are going to go. And I used, um, I guess they were about one and a quarter inch number eight sheet metal screws with um, clearance holes through the aluminum and pilot holes into the plywood. Um, and I, I did that because I could get the round heads that are normally very difficult to get on legitimate wood screws. And you could see how all the screws went in here. On the bottom of the deck, I marked with a uh, thick Sharpie marker um, the outline of where the milk crates are supposed to go and instructions on how to assemble the whole rig for whoever in the uh, community bands volunteers to uh, cart this thing around assemble and disassemble it so I am not the only person who knows how to do it and then on the top I marked a point where through experimentation I'd found that 
as long as I kept my feet within that area, no matter how I were to dance around, um, pretending to be a conductor, uh, that the, the platform would not become unstable, would not tip or shift or do anything unexpected. So I kind of followed uh, aircraft nomenclature there by putting no step boundaries around the, uh, the safety line. Then finally, um, I decided that uh, since I wasn't going to use carpeting on the top side, I was going to just put a nice heavy coat of varnish on and then a, a single thick layer of varnish on the bottom just to protect the wood. Um, this could sometimes be used, well, it's always going to be used outdoors, and I was concerned that carpeting or another surface of that sort would possibly absorb water and just not be too good and if I just had a nice heavy varnish coating on the wood it would be better protected and there wouldn't be any issue of uh, needing to have a water absorbing or a dirt collecting carpeting on it. So these pictures show the uh, the varnishing and as usual in my basement I've got a couple of oscillating heater fans keeping it warm so it cures quickly.